The Samsung Galaxy Note 2 came out only a few months ago, and now it has competition from the Samsung Galaxy S4. Is it worth updating, or is the Galaxy Note 2 still the best that Samsung has to offer? Let's take a look at the two phones and find out. The Galaxy Note 2 and the Galaxy S4 are similar in some regards in terms of the shapes, but you can see that the S4 is clearly smaller, and that's because there is a considerable difference in girth. The Galaxy Note 2 is taller and wider, and it's also a little bit thicker, just a tiny bit, but it's not that big of a difference in terms of design philosophy. They both have the home button at the bottom and they have menu and back buttons that disappear depending on when they're touch or if the screen is active. Now the difference between the home button is the Galaxy Note 2 actually has a better one because it's easier to press down, it's more responsive, but with the Galaxy S4 it's raised a little bit more so you have to apply a little more pressure and sometimes it doesn't respond as quickly or as well. But aside from that you see that there is a considerable difference in size so I actually think the S4 is more practical and enjoyable to hold, especially when using one-handed operation. You're not stretching halfway across the device to access parts of the screen. It's much easier to reach things. One-handed operation is a lot easier to handle and it's more comfortable to begin with. The Galaxy Note 2 has a large 5.5 inch screen. It's 720p, it's Super AMOLED. Now you compare that to the Galaxy S4, which has a five inch screen, also Super AMOLED, but this is 1080p. So consider that you're getting a smaller size, you're sacrificing half an inch, but that's not saying much really. You're gaining a lot more when you look at the S4 because this has the 1080p resolution, so you're getting far more pixels per inch. And aside from that, I also think that the S4 display is a little bit better. Uh, on the Galaxy Note 2, the, the subjects person, the guy that's interviewing these people, his skin looks a lot more red than it should, even though it's in the sun and he's of a fair complexion. But on the S4, it tends to look a little bit better. So I'd rate this as a superior display. Now, the software is the key difference between these two phones. On the left, you have Android 4.1, and on the right, you have Android 4.2. And with that comes some refinements. The basic software of TouchWiz is very similar. I can switch between different settings, easily toggle between them, I can adjust the brightness, and I can clear all of my notifications. But what you won't get on the Galaxy Note 2 that you will on the S4 is that if you tap this button right here, you can actually change the settings that appear you can see more settings and you can edit the order in which they appear so the notification panel is a lot more diverse aside from that there's uh, more things you can do like with gestures for instance if I go into the gallery app on the Galaxy Note 2, you have the advantage of using what's called the S Pen, which allows you to have different text input as well as access certain features. So when I'm in the gallery, if I hover over a different folder, it knows that I want to see a preview of the images that are in there. That's one way of accessing that. On the S4, on the other hand, no S Pen required. I can just tap my finger over and I get the little preview of everything that's in there. But aside from that, when you're browsing through the gallery itself and you're looking at different images, I can actually use gestures to swipe across the screen to go to the next image. Now it's just a small thing, but it's something that's available should you choose to use it. Uh, let me just give you a quick demo. Swipe my hand to the right. As you see, my hand never physically touched the screen, but I am able to do it. The S4 has a lot more that you can do with it because of additional sensors, additional options. For instance, on both phones, you get what's called Smart Stay. It uses your eyes to see if you're still looking at the screen and it won't dim. But on the S4, you get something called Smart Pause. So if you're watching a video and you turn away to look at someone, the video will pause and continue playing uh once you start resuming looking at the screen. So when it comes down to just software, there's a lot more of the gimmicks and the flashy show off features that you get with the S4. Aside from that, you notice that some of the options of inter actual apps like the email app is greatly improved. I think it's much better than what you get on the Note 2. There's also some of the 
uh, what's it called the call the calling apps you can adjust the speed dial if you're getting an incoming call and because of air gesture you can just wipe your hands like that and it'll answer the call and put it in speaker mode those are certain things that you don't get with the note 2 but there are some things that the note 2 offers that are unique to this device Obviously, the most unique thing about the Galaxy Note 2 is the S Pen, which really opens up a lot of doors when it comes to input. If you're someone who's artistic, you're going to love the ability to really draw and map out concepts and have things be a lot more accurate than they are on a phone. And there's a lot of things that you can do with this, especially if you are an artistic person. Uh, as if you, even if you're just using it for productivity purposes, you can also get different templates uh, for spreadsheets, uh, for document creation, and just mapping out concepts in general. And the S Pen works in other aspects of the device. So if you're someone who likes the accuracy of navigating with this and using the AirView and all that, it does come very much in handy. Both of these phones have quad-core processors, but all quad-cores are not created equal. The Galaxy Note 2 has a 1.6 GHz processor developed by Samsung, while the Galaxy S4 has a 1.9 GHz processor developed by Qualcomm. And you will notice a difference between the two. Now, in terms of sheer power, the Galaxy Note 2 is no slouch by any means. You know, that quad-core processor definitely gets along and does what you need it to do. But with the S4, you're getting a lot more out of it. Uh, as you can see from the benchmark test that I'm running here, these two phones actually started at the exact same time, but the S4 is cycling through it a lot faster because it's able to handle things quicker. It writes to your card uh, about a decent amount of time. It definitely has faster graphics, faster processing from the the CPU and it's just overall a better package now the difference between the two might not be enough to upgrade but if you're getting a new phone for the first time the S4 is definitely going to be more powerful and give you more bang for the buck the Galaxy S4 distinguishes itself with the camera now it has a 2 megapixel front facing lens a 13 megapixel rear lens with flash located beneath it compared to the Galaxy Note 2 which has a 1.9 megapixel front facing and an 8 megapixel with the lens with the flash to the right of it. Now, don't get caught up in the megapixel count. What matters most is that the Galaxy S4 tends to let in more light, tends to have a better white balance, and overall just takes better pictures. Aside from that, you get more options with the shooting mode. Some of these are available like best photo and best face as well as HDR. You can get those on the Galaxy Note 2 as well. But this has 13 modes with a lot more settings, and overall the camera is just better. So when it comes to photo taking, the S4 definitely has the advantage. The Galaxy Note 2 has served its purpose well for the past 5 or 6 months that it's been available. And it's still chugging along as one of the most powerful phones available on the market. But the problem for the Note 2 is that... Five or six months in tech is a long time, and there's a lot of new products, and newer typically means better, right? Well, not quite exactly. I will give the Galaxy S4 credit for being the better overall phone in terms of feel and touch. They both have that glossy back, but this is lighter, it's slimmer, and it's a lot easier to manage with one hand and when in your pocket. Aside from that, Android 4.2 does offer a lot more features. Now, some of them may be gimmicky, granted, but there's so many features you can see that they had to change the settings to make it four tabs instead of just one long list. They've made advancements to a lot of apps like the calendar app. Uh, and aside from that, you still get multi-view, so you can still have the multi-window where you split apps into two on the S4 like you do on other smartphones. So all of the great things that made the Galaxy Note 2 a little more unique, uh, you can still kind of do on the Galaxy S4 with the exception of the S Pen. The reason that I say that newer isn't necessarily better is that the Galaxy Note 2 is still a very good phone and that battery life. It has a bigger battery life that lasts longer, and that matters to a lot of people, myself included. Now, the size of the Galaxy Note 2 may be a little daunting, and if you're buying a new phone, you typically want to future-proof it. This will get most of the software features available in the Galaxy S4, but not all of them, because of some of them are, might not be possible related to sensors, hardwares, and things like that. But at the same time, 
uh, this is still a good phone. So if you can overcome the size, I still say that the S Pen might be worth grabbing. Uh, overall, I'd say that the Galaxy S4 is most likely going to be the phone that you should buy right now. If you already have a Note 2, I would not recommend upgrading to this because you're going to be sacrificing uh, some really key features to gain a lot of good, maybe okay features, most of which you'll probably never use. So this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the Samsung Galaxy S4. Both solid, good phones, and which is the best? Well, it's kind of hard. Depends on who you are, but most likely it's going to be this one right here.